One but two children have died this month from a brain-eating amoeba, and the deadly parasite may be more having more common with folks right here in the Mid-South. NBC. Uh, yes, Alex, that's right, because this happened twice in the South this month alone. The deadly brain infection occurs after swimming in warm, fresh water. It has recently killed a nine-year-old boy in Virginia and a teenage girl in Florida. And Dr. Minaj Jane is an infectious disease specialist. What is this brain-eating amoeba, and do we have to worry about it? Because two children in August alone. Sure, absolutely. Uh, Mary Beth, uh, Nagleria fowleri is an amoeba. You may remember from your ninth grade biology class, we looked at those right. amoebas, the pond water, uh, we looked under the microscope. And, right. uh, this is a amoeba which causes an infection, uh, goes up through the nose into the meninges of the brain. And it lives in rivers, right. ponds. Right, lives in rivers and ponds, fresh water, so not should... in chlorinated pools and so okay. forth, so we don't need to worry about that. Should we avoid swimming in ponds altogether? Well, we should try to avoid that, and if uh, someone wants to swim, one of the recommendations is just to hold your nose when you're jumping in. Okay. A simple act like that won't allow the amoeba to carry up to the nose and to the brain. Okay, that's easy. Can't go through the ears, not the same Rarely, channel. Rarely, never does. But meningitis is what is caused, and that is actually what kills, correct? And that's Absolutely. a threat that a lot of people need to know about right now because kids are going off to college. Absolutely. So meningitis is an infection of the fluid around the brain. And that's important to remember because uh, rarely is that area infected. It's always sterile. And when, it's, when it does get infected, it causes tremendous headaches and fevers and stiff neck. And what we want to do is to avoid any type of infection in that area. So while this amoeba may be very rare that we would right. come in contact with that, it it creates the same infection that actually our children are very much at threat for. Right. You, you mentioned just a moment ago, freshmen in college have five times the rate of meningitis. So there are different types of meningitis, some which can be caused by a virus, and we call that a viral meningitis, and they're relatively benign. Okay, uh, that's not going to kill you. That's probably. not going to kill you. People usually get better with that. Uh, then there is bacterial meningitis, and there are several types of bacteria. The one that concerns me the most, and also parents the most, is meningococcal meningitis. Okay. Now, meningococcal meningitis affects youths, children between the ages of 11 and 18, and especially freshmen uh, going to college. They have a five times higher rate Why? of infection. Why them? Because they're in such close, tight areas, they're together in dorms, and it's contagious. It okay. goes from one person to other. And is it easily con easily contracted? It's, it's fairly easily contracted. Not as easily as a common cold or the flu, uh, but kissing, coughing, uh, touching, and being in close quarters. Military recruits are at higher risk of this as well. So sharing bathroom hygiene products, that sort yeah. of thing, can do it. So there's a vaccine that right. some colleges mandate, but... If you ha would you go so far as to say if you have a child going off to live in a dorm, get the vaccine? Absolutely no questions? Yes. So I have a daughter who's a second year uh, in college, and uh, before she went off to college, she got her second dose of the meningococcal vaccine. Okay. She got her first dose when she was about 12 years old, okay. and that's what we recommend. Two doses, one before they go off to college, and if they miss the first dose, that's fine. They can get the second dose. Do insurance companies pay for it? Is no, that I, what's keeping parents from getting it? I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. Some insurance companies do and some don't, but you know what? The risks are so high that I really believe it's worth the investment. Absolutely, because it can kill very quickly. It can kill very quickly, and I've okay. seen cases of a child coming in in the morning, and they were doing well, and by the evening, they were completely confused and, and quite ill. All right. Thank you so I much, Dr. Jane. Always helpful to us here on Live.